Christmas vegan stuff. What's up, plant-loving people? I have had an amazing week in my plant-based life, and let me tell you what I've done. First, Rich Roll came into New York City because he wrote the foreword for John Joseph's book, Meat is for Pussies, and it's an awesome book. Everyone should check it out. It came out on re-release today, and Rich and I had an awesome dinner and talked about a bunch of stuff, so it was nice to get two passionate vegan athletes together. Um, I've been having so many conversations about veganism with random people. I had a conversation the other day, a guy saw me with my vegan shirt, and he told me a story that he has lost 100 pounds in the past one year of being vegan, and he was a happy, proud meat eater until one night he had a dream where he was flying up into the air and he could look over at the planet and he was excited for this beautiful image and all he could hear was the screaming of all the animals that he had eaten and he just went vegan he was this amazing guy clearly had this spiritual epiphany and changed his whole life so I've just been having awesome talks tons of people in the gym who've been asking me about my plant build vegan body building t-shirt it's just been great and then today, I was a big part of a protest with NY Class, NY Class, which is the organization advocating for New York City horse carriages to be completely abolished and become illegal. And we had a really great opportunity to escalate and run a protest um, today because last week, because one of the prominent carriage riders, Christina Hansen, was riding horses and taking people on carriage rides when it was over 90 degrees outside, which is illegal according to New York City law. So we ran a protest. There were tons of people, probably about 60 in total. We had elderly people. We had little kids in between. It was really great. And we were protesting Christina Hansen to get fired from her job because she broke the law. She actually should be arrested. Um, but we were just asking for her to get fired. For the horses, show some pity. They should not be in the city. For the horses, show some pity. They should not be in the city. You know, it was really great. I was talking to my dad about uh, horse carriages and, and that whole system. And he's a meat eater. He's transitioning to a vegan diet, but he still eats meat. And he was just like... It's so fucked up. It's 2014. It's not the medieval times. Like, how are we still doing this in our culture? There's one thing to eat them because people are addicts, but to strap them up and make them carry thousands of pounds in the heat against their will in the middle of a city, horses that like to gallop, it makes no sense. It's cruel. It's terribly abusive. And it's truly enslavement. It's, it's really disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. There's no excuse that this is still going on, and we all need to come together and protest this. It's really hard to take down the meat and dairy industry. They have tons of money. But this little stupid program of making horses carry people around the city, it's got to fucking stop. And we need to come to these protests, show that we care, show how messed up it is. And this is what we did today, and it was really great. There is no excuse. There is no excuse. There is no excuse for animal abuse. There is never an excuse. There is never an excuse for animal abuse. This is Vegan Style. This is Vegan Style.